1. Suzuki Solario. The Suzuki Solario is one of the cheapest new cars on the market, so it only makes sense that you could pick up a nearly new one for our £5,000 budget. A 2017 model with only 4,000 miles on the clock can be found for €4,999. Ongoing motoring costs will also be nice and cheap thanks to the tiny 1.0-liter engine. Yes, these are incredibly basic budget machines, but if you just need a small car to drive around town, then the Solario will do just fine. At this age you will still be covered by the 3-year, 60,000 km warranty. Once it expires, you can either extend it or buy it at random, since repairs are probably inexpensive on such a simple car. 2. Volkswagen EOS As summer rolls around every year, it wouldn't be fair to avoid a drop top for this list, and what's better than the reliability of a VW? The EOS was based on the Golf but without a roof and although these are older vehicles, there are low mileage 2007 models, under 3000 euros. Often powered by the 2.0 liter petrol engine and super slick DSG automatic gearbox. Performance and comfort are combined. As with all convertibles, make sure the roof mechanism works perfectly and check it carefully for damage before buying. Convertible tops are notorious for flaws and leaks, or for the small rips and tears they cause. Also check the specs for some of the rarer items not found on the cheap entry-level models, ideally find a leather interior, summer recloth. 3. Opel Astra GTC If you want something a little sportier rather than a standard three-door hatchback, the Opel Astra GTC ticks the box. Coupe lines turn the humble Astra into a sporty, chunky hatch. In terms of age, you'll see that in 2011 there are plenty on the market, with around 40,000 in circulation for just under 5,000 pounds. You can go for a 1.4-liter turbo, but that's a little sluggish at just 136 bhp. Ideally, go for the more powerful 1.6-liter turbo, which makes 194 bhp and can go to 62 in just 7.9 seconds. There are also a multitude of diesel engines. If you want something a little more frugal, the 2.0-liter CDTI will return excellent MPG on a long run while doing the 0-62 to sprint in 8.4 seconds. Watch out for the large doors of the CTG, they open quite wide and tight spaces can be a problem. The ride is much firmer on the big 19-inch alloys, too, and watch out for stone chips along the rear arches. 4. Dacia Duster. The budget Dacia Duster has always been a bargain. Second-hand models, costing around £10,000 new, are plentiful and sell for half the price. A 2015 with just 40,000 miles can be had for £5,000. Be sure to find a decent special model, base models often don't even have a stereo or speakers. Most are two-wheel drive, but there's a four-wheel drive option if needed but expect to pay around £1,000 more for the AWD model. Dusters are known for their raw, out-of-the-box build quality. The interior is made from the same type of plastic found in vans, so it's tough and will last a lifetime. On the outside, the steel wheels are simple but practical, and the roof rails are handy for carrying additional accessories. There are few reliability issues with the duster, the majority of failures occur with the DPF filter on diesel models. So ask the owner how he regularly uses the car to see if there is a problem in the future. 5. Peugeot Viper Tepi. Both are the same car, they just have different badges and we say, car, in general, because they are derived from vans. They're not the prettiest and are a little slow, especially if you opt for the automatic. But to lug around a family and all their equipment in relative comfort, at this price, it's unbeatable. You can find 2011, 61 registration models for just under our $5,000 budget. Again, the interior looks a lot like the Dacia, raw and ready, but can take a beating. Even if you don't have a family, they're the perfect car to haul the dogs on long weekend rides or your muddy dirt bikes. The output of the 1.3 diesel or 1.4 petrol engines is around 75 bhp, but due to their low emissions the tax will be cheap. The diesel engine can return to over 60 mpg under normal driving conditions, but watch out for the 0-62 times of 16.8 seconds which are appallingly slow. 
It's fine if you have your eyes on a good MPG. 6. Peugeot 408. Need a little more space than the Duster or Nemo can provide? It's an old model, but the Peugeot 407 SW estate is a barge big enough to accommodate three children and all their luggage. It's a real handy family mover and there are plenty of low mileage examples to be found. A rather high-priced 2.0-liter diesel was seen with just 25,000 miles on the odometer for our main prize, but keep an eye out for cars with twice that mileage as prices will be much lower. The 2.0-liter diesel option with 139 bhp is the go-to engine whether in manual or automatic mode. Most 407s are premium models, as they were company cars rather than private cars. If you go to test one and it idles with lumps or a clunking noise, it could be the exhaust gas recirculation valve, or EGR for short. This could mean the car has a sticking throttle or worn injectors, so be on the lookout. This model has also been known to blow turbos, so check the docks to see if it's ever been replaced in the past. 7. Mazda MX-5. This car single-handedly reinvented the cheap and affordable Roadster and the MX-5 is still a great driver's car. 2005 models, which have no more than 11,000 miles, are available secondhand for just 5,000 pounds. Rear-wheel drive, with a convertible top, it's the perfect car for long drives in hot weather. The 1.8-liter gas engine will be a little more thirsty than you're probably used to, but at the cost of miles per gallon, you'll gain smiles per gallon because the MX-5 is a real pleasure to drive. As many of these little Mazda Roadsters are bought by enthusiasts, expect them to have only one or two owners during that time. Problems on the MK-3 are rare, both 1.8 and 2.0 liters are pretty bulletproof, just make sure the oil is changed every 10,000 miles. Listen carefully to see if the rear differential sounds loud and creaky, if so avoid it as it can be expensive to replace. In addition, you have to make sure that the soft top works well, the plastic gears can sometimes wear out, and replacing them is a tedious job. 8. Mazda 2. You might think it's an odd choice, but if you ever drive a Mazda, you'll know how fun it is to drive. While the little twos will never set the world on fire in terms of speed, they are one of the best handle hatchbacks on the market. They make B roads a blast and make commuting fun again. For 5,000 euros, you can get a 1.3 liter Mazda 2 in the Tamura version. In 2009, this car was at the top of the range, with its dark headlights and anthracite rims. Its look is sportier than the engine that inhabits it, unfortunately. However, with just 1.3 liters at your disposal, you'll never find yourself in too much trouble, and the MPG is quoted at 40.9, so it should be frugal around town. As with all Japanese brands, build quality and reliability are high on the list. Since the Mazda 2 is quite a rare car, it is a bit difficult to find reports of problems and questions that arise. Looking carefully at forums and online sites, we couldn't find anything major or common. If you want something a little different rather than the mill running of the Ford Fiesta, the Mazda 2 is a great choice. 9. Audi TTS. This one might be a bit of a gamble, but it's a lot of cars and performance for the money. There are a few 2007 Audi TTs on the market, all with very high mileage, over 100k in most cases. There are even a few TTS models for our 5,000 euros budget. That means you get a 3.2-liter V6 with 247 horsepower up front, but don't be put off by the high mileage. This engine is known to be a workhorse and it can go a lot more miles than the 100,000 mark. Just make sure all service stamps are present, and owners are as few as possible. If you're not looking to put in a lot of miles, a used TT could be a great choice. This second-generation TT has had few reported issues. Just be sure to listen for any hissing coming from the door seals during a test drive and take note of any rattling on the dash. Oh, and the leather seats seem to wear out quickly, so if they're badly worn you'll have to try and find replacements which will be expensive.